And this is our in and this is our robot T dot O H five. This is his little laser. Yeah, and if you press the buttons, different It'll, lasers come out. Yeah. And like, like green, lots of different yeah. colors. And this is his sensor. If he senses something, then he'll shoot the laser at whatever he senses. If it's like a bad thing thing coming towards him. So why'd you guys make this? So he can protect us. He's our new guard. Yeah. Um, he never gets scared. Never. Yeah. And he's indestructible. And his laser can move to different spots. Like here, here, here. Anywhere we want it to go. But not in his head. Hi, my name is Zach. And this is my invention, the Magnetron 10,000. It's used for when you need to pick up small screws and pick in stuff and metal pieces such as that. It will pick up almost all the screws all the time. It is it uses magnetic waves to draw the screws in and then uses the and then uses the center magnet to pull them up. Hi, I'm Andrew Zenis, and this is Nanodude and Fampi. I made Nanodude out of a microchip, a speaker amplifier, a spring, a motor, two zoop pieces, some wire, foam, gears, ball of a mouse, and two buttons. What does he do? He's designed to keep me company when I'm lonely. So like, if I'm like lonely or bored, he just pops out and this Hi. My name is Chase. My uh, first invention is an electric hair wand. It can zap down trees and you can build forts with it since it, you'll since I always have to find sticks to build it, it will be easier to just zap some um, branches down from the tree. Hi, I'm Alessandro, and this is my invention, the sleeper. It doesn't actually work, but I based it on a real idea. So pretty much, this is the charger for it. You can put some screws down, and it will magnetically pick them up and then those magnetic waves will charge this up then you can put this down then what this will do is it will be all charged up and you put it on a weak spot where your skull does not protect your brain and it will send a pulse to your brain which will make you fall asleep to me it actually makes the part numb but um, so pretty much it's supposed to make you sleep for eight to nine hours unless you're shooken or a very loud sound is made. So it's for people, it's basically for people who have trouble sleeping, which I am one of because I can never get sleep at night, but you know. So that's why you made it? Yep, pretty much. Do you have a name for it? Yeah, it's called the Sleeper 2.0.